Hey everyone, Mike here again. Today I want to show you something special within Superior Dama 3. How to add other virtual instruments like Stephen Slade drums or addictive drums into Superior Dama 3. As you probably know, Superior Dama 3 is a complete drum production tool, which means that ToonTrack not only developed the software to use their own samples, because I mean, obviously they want you to use their own samples because um, the sound quality and the amount of samples you can use within this, uh, the core library are tremendous um, and for most cases and for mo most occasions um, they will like do the job. However, um, not only I, but I know um, some of you guys out there still have or use Steven Slade drums, Addictive drums, BFD3, Easy Drummer, um, so other virtual in instruments or your own samples and you can use them within Superior Drummer in a, a pretty neat way and I will show you today uh, how this works. So let's dive in directly. Uh, as you probably know, I've just loaded up the basic per kit, um, created just a little uh, tiny loop. Let's have a listen first. So nothing special here, just for the case of this video. Um, so let's say you want to add um, something new, you have your own samples and stuff. Um, the, you may have seen this before on one of the tutorials ToonTrack provided. Just by right clicking on a particular instrument, you go here to more and click on import audio file. Um, and a little sh uh, window will show up uh, where you can search um, on your computer and I will just go into my own samples. I use Trigger 2, have several expansion packs. Let's create something from the um, that sound. I love what the guys are doing. Um, let's pick, for instance, the snare here. Just some clicks. Let's those one up, just like have a, a quick audition. So a preset snare, a, a snare sample, which you use for drum replacement stuff. So let's open, uh, click open. And now he's going to ask you if you want to um, stack it onto your existing snare drum to replace your existing snare drum or just create an additional instrument, maybe for a side snare effect. But in this case, we want to add, um, add the stack. Um, and the sample we will load will be triggered when the center articulation of the snare drum is going to hit. So we click import. And when I now play the groove, you will hear both snares. You see here on the top right corner, this is the snare that we just had, the Per Masters, and the additional snare that we just loaded in. You see here, this is the USA Born Big version number five hit. So let's have a listen. The cool thing within Superior Drummer, um, once you've created this instrument, you can pretty much use all the, um, the features here on the right side uh, to tune and find the pitch. So let's say we hit this snare, so it's highlighted, and we you can adjust the level, so we do this on the fly. So you can nicely blend the snare uh, into your existing snare from Superior Drummer. You can even tune um, this snare, though it's just an imported sample, but you can even use the tuning function within Superior Drummer. Let's have a listen. So this alone is pretty cool. Uh, if you have, for instance, your own snare sample from your acoustic drum, use some sample packs. Um, so you can use this um, quite easily. And we, before you, I will show you how to use Steven Slate drums and all the other virtual instruments. Um, I will just show you um, how to, you can create an uh, own instrument within the mixer section, because right now when I go to the mixer uh, and I play the groove, So you hear the snare, but you have no control in the mixer section. So what you're going to do now, um, right click on the new snare, go to route instrument microphones, and there you have the new snare drum. And what you then want to do is, um, because we just have um, one microphone for the snare, go uh, until this little drop down menus, uh, menu shows up, create new channel, and you're ready to go. And now go to the mixer 
And there you have it. It's called the X user mic. So you, now you can completely process the snare on your own using all the over 30 um, you, um, presets and uh, mixing effects Superior Drummer gives you. This is the reason why this is called a complete drum production um, software. Um, TuneTrack doesn't allow you to um, mix and master all the samples you just load in into the software. You can completely use every single effect that you have within the, um, the software. Um, EQ, compression, reverb, distortion, all those things, even on your imported samples. But we're going to delete this um, channel right now. And we're going to delete this one. So now we want to use Steven Slate drums or other virtual instruments. Usually when you have one of those softwares, um, the samples you hear from in the software are not available as a pure WAV file, um, just like the example I just showed you. Um, so we have to do like a, kind of a little turnaround trick. And for this, um, I'm opening up my DAW, which is Reaper. I'm gonna insert a virtual instrument. First of all, I pick Steven Slate drums, create some of the microphone channels. And before we pick the instruments, I will create a MIDI item. Just um, kind of lengthen it quite a bit. And we go into the mixer section. And here on the left side, uh, I th um, think we're going to pick a new snare drum. Um, so we create the note 38, which is usually um, the snare drum sound. So just one note, because we just want, need one single sample. And now I go into Steven Slade, to the Constrict Kit. Uh, and let's say we want to use one of the processed sound from Steven Slade, one which the software is famous for. So we go to the Classic, uh, and let's say we want to use the Dream Theater snare. Um, and let's say we want to use the from the Black Album, the Metallica snare, the famous one. And we pick both of them. Just double check on the mixer check section. Um, Create a bit of a more room, roomy sound. And now when I play this little, this one MIDI notes, uh, you will hear just the single snare head, of course. So we're gonna shorten this quite a little bit here because the snare doesn't last so long. Loop this one. So we can even shorten that quite a bit more. Once again. Make sure we had, let's say we want to had, have the loudest snare drum, which is usually 127. Let's check this, uh, 127 apply it once again so now we have that like signature sound from Steven Slade that cracky snare that cuts through every mix so now uh, what you um, can do now is just render it as a separate file as a wave file on your computer so you can use it within Superior Drama so we're gonna render this let's say we call this uh, Slate Snare as a wave, 16-bit um, is okay. Uh, we search a directory. I've created a folder on my desktop, which is called samples. Open this one and just render it. Voila, already ready to go. We go now back to um, Superior Drama and do the same th uh, thing that we just did before with the um, sample from that sound. Right-click on the snare, click more, import audio files, desktop, samples, and there it is. Open the file. Again, we want to add this as a stack. And here we go. What you um, immediately notice is that as um, Steven Slate samples, especially the old signature ones, um, are not recorded in that amount of detail and with that much um, velocity range, um, so you don't probably want to hear the snare when the, um, the ghost notes are playing, especially in that group. But there's um, a little thing, a little feature within Supreme Drama where you can adjust this. 
um, you have on the top right here, which is called velocity gate, enable this one, click on the snare you want to adjust. Um, and we want to the new snare slate just to be triggered at the loudest velocities. So to make sure no ghost note is um, triggering the slate snare, uh, we're going to adjust the level um, between 99 and 127. So only when a MIDI signal comes in in that velocity range, the snare sample will be triggered. Um, everything below just the superior drummer snare will be triggered. So let's have a listen once again. So create, uh, let's create a new instrument like I just showed you, create new channel. We go to the mixer, there it is. We're gonna route this one out to the snare bus. So everything is now going here. And as I said, we can EQ this Once you understand this approach, um, now of course your creativity is the limit, as I always say. Uh, what you can do, you can of course render each and every snare um, sound um, to um, a specific folder that that lies on your computer, uh, so that you like render out every I don't know 60 or 70 snares from Stephen Slate uh, to have full access for every Slate and just import the samples. Uh, but this like works for every uh, in instrument. So let's say uh, we want to do another thing. Let's go to the Chris Lord LG expansion pack because I like the snare, uh, the kick drums here. We first of all we're going to clear this kit here now, and let's say we pick one of the big 24-inch kick drums from DW. Yeah, heavily processed, but that's exactly what uh, we want to achieve with this one. Of course, we have to change the MIDI note because kick drums usually are note 36. And the same thing. Let's play the groove first to check it. Great. Same approach. Render the file. Let's say CLA kick. Render. Ready. Go to Superior Drama. Go to the mixer. So let's have a listen. And this uh, works not only, of course, for drum shells, uh, like kick, snare, or toms. Uh, this, of course, works for cymbals as well. So um, just for the sake of this video, another um, we're going to create a new uh, virtual instrument, um, because I know that within addictive drums, um, there are some expansion packs uh, where I really like the cymbals. Again, uh, we're going to pick the indie pack. Uh, because it has some um, great big washy open um, symbols going on. Um, no, it was the, sorry, the United Pop. So big open washy long lasting uh, symbol. So um, which is fine. And by the way, uh, if you don't want to use the um, the dry sounds from the samples, um, of course, what you can do, let's pick one of the um, white room uh, presets here. So um, you see when you go to the edit window, um, the preset, which means like we have already a cue and compression going on, but um, as we just use uh, the one sample, so we, we get the, just the, let's say the compressed and acute sound from the symbol within the overheads and within the room mic. So just before we're gonna create 
a new MIDI item. And the main symbol is usually node 40, 49. Yeah, there it is. Um, you will have to make sure in this case that the MIDI file is lasting long enough to really give the symbol the chance to ring out. So let's test um, if this uh, MIDI file is long enough. I think this will last because when you um, have the MIDI file that's too short, um, the symbol will kind of have a choked sound uh, and this is not what you want um, to have. Let's double check if we have the right velocity here. Um, it's 127, um, so we have the loudest strike. The problem with symbols is in uh, comparison to snares where usually when you use samples where you want like a big open cracky snare. Um, you, this is not um, like meant to be like subtle playing or stuff. This is like a, a one-shot sample. This is a problem. All the velocity layers that you have or that you can gain within Superior Drummer, because they're recorded in like like limitless, almost um, different articulations and volumes and velocities, creating um, samples like this is kind of a one-shot. So when you were doing like a rock style and you're always hitting the cymbal at the right velocity, but do, uh, like with, for cymbal swells or tiny pl or subtle playing, you have to um, render out several velocities to create kind of a, your own um, sample um, pool with this. But let's just render this file. Uh, we're gonna say addictive drums to cymbal. Let's the samples folder, render it out. And let's say we want to um, import audio file, addictive to symbol, and now we want to replace it, not to add it. And you see Superior Drama is creating kind of a generic picture here, which looks like, um, fun fact, like a Roland rubber symbol. So let's hear this now. Uh, maybe just a little bit too loud. So we're gonna decrease it quite a bit. And the cool thing, uh, now you don't have to um, assign a certain microphone to the symbol because the Pivot Drummer 3 is smart enough um, to run this symbol within the common overhead. So you can process kind of your overhead uh, in a common way like you did before and the new symbol is already included, which is pretty cool. So let's have a listen again. So now we have kind of a, a combined kit, the best of three worlds. Uh, the kit from Superior Drummer, um, uh, additional kick from CLA, Steven Slade Drums, additional snare and a cymbal from Addictive Drums 2. So you see the options are nearly endless, uh, depends on the amount of virtual instruments and samples you own. But um, as I said, I can always re uh, repeat this. Superior Drummer 3 is uh, really a drum production tool. Uh, you can use anything you want, you can tune them, you can use um, the samples within the built-in mixer, use all the effects, so you don't have to leave the program basically to create the drum sound of your dream, especially when you are used um, to specific samples that you worked uh, with the last years. You don't have to like sell your licenses for Steven Slade drums, addicted drums and stuff. You can all use them within Superior Drama. So I think this one helped you out again. Thanks so far for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.